So a couple of really general important points when it comes to stretching, especially with our clients and our athletes, is one, we do not stretch to the point of pain. Okay, so if we're engaging pain, then obviously what's going to happen is there's going to be a protective splinting. Okay, that is not what we want. Also, if we hold them for the stretch too long, too aggressively, what you will do is you'll activate what we call the inverse stretch reflex. So instead of actually gaining more flexibility, they'll actually tighten. Okay, so that inverse stretch reflex is there to stop us from actually tearing our muscles in half. So if we can keep it under five seconds, then you'll find you'll get a lot more benefit passively with these stretches. So the idea is taking it to the point of resistance, holding it for five to 10, come back out, and then once again into five seconds, back out, five seconds, repeat the process roughly around about 10 times. With your more experienced athletes, you can actually do it a lot longer. Sometimes I do it up to 20 or 30 reps of that. So I urge you to do, experiment a little bit with that. Um, if you've got Athletes that have issues with laxity around their joints, so that means a lot of looseness, they may be a little bit unstable. So once again, you also need to be really considerate about not overtaxing the joint itself. So if they are very, very flexible through those joints, then be aware of that. Now, stretching is highly debated, there's no doubt about it. You're gonna have athletes that come in all types of flexibility. So some of them actually might be what we call hypermobile. So they've got literally too much flexibility so they lack the strength so stretching for those athletes not always important okay whereas you might have what we call hypermobile so that's athletes and clients who are obviously struggle with flexibility so they're probably going to be the ones that you want to target a lot more of the flexibility so it is really important to nurture and tailor exactly what sort of stretching program you're doing with your athletes and your clients now Stretching, once again, it's all about just general tension, okay? And as I said before, not pain. So let me explain that general tension. That is when we're taking the joint into the first point of resistance, okay? That's where we hold, okay? We don't go to what we classify as the pathological end range. That is a contraindication. So it's just that very first point of restriction, okay? or tension for that matter. Now, if you're wanting to stretch here, but you're getting them to feel it in the back, then there's a fair chance that they're contracting those muscles in the back. So you just have to get them to relax, okay? Now, some athletes and some clients will do that naturally, not a problem. Others will struggle with that. So it takes a little bit of time for you to get used to doing some of these stretches. So obviously always ask for feedback with your clients, okay, and your athletes. It is imperative because at the end of the day, they need to be able to do some of these stretches at home or when they're away on tour. It's the same as the self-massage stuff.